All right, I still can't do much because of my shoulder, but just tackle rebuilding this rail right here with this uh, rebuild kit that I just bought, I think on boats.net. There's only one fuel injection unit that was bad. I just don't remember which one it was. And if you replace one, you might as well do all of them. So I went ahead and just bought six of everything. We're gonna just take these all out. kind of dirty so I think I'm gonna clean this rail so this is actually really easy all it is is if it can focus is this o-ring right here and then this cushion and these big ones actually go on the back right here they're cushions and then this is the grommet and this is the o-ring these are kind of dried out uh, this it's a 1993 Suzuki so it's always a good idea to replace the rubber components of the outboard if you know it's old. So I do want to clean these fuel injectors a bit because you can see they're pretty dirty. I just don't want any contaminants to get in this screen. Even though there is a screen, I'd rather not put anything in there. So I'm going to tape those up so nothing gets in there while I clean it. But first, first I'm going to take uh, the O-ring and the grommet off. It's taped off at the end. I'm gonna clean it with this, I forget what it's called, but this abrasive material. Okay, so those are all done. They look a lot better. Now I'm gonna clean the uh, fuel rail. So I didn't do much, I just wiped off the outer surfaces. It's not too dirty. I might have already cleaned it though, before. I just don't remember. So here's one finished fuel injector. And now we just put them back into the rail. So it's, it's pretty easy, anyone can do it. Um, just got to make sure to keep it all as clean as you can. I made a decent amount of progress since you guys last saw it. I took out the old harness and started labeling a bunch of things on the new harness. Well, I, you know, put in a new harness and I started labeling a bunch of stuff. Took out the uh, oil tank. Took off the lower unit. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but this bolt actually got corroded and it's still stuck in there. So I think I'm gonna have to put a nut right here and weld inside of the nut. And hopefully the heat and the, the weld will be strong enough to pull that thing out. Um, but because I was not able to get that out, I had to cut it, obviously, with a cutoff wheel. And I ended up damaging the lower unit, so I took the lower unit to the shop. And I ended up welding it myself as well to fix it, so I'll show you that. Here's the lower unit now. 
It's got a bunch of, they look like dings, but they're metal. It's just aluminum metal. I haven't ground down yet. Um, this is like, this is a new piece where I added a plate right here. So I'll show you before and after pictures. There's also this little thing in here that I have, to, this radius I have to get in and do. And then there's this piece down here. Um, and it wasn't pretty because it's cast, so there was a lot of impurities. But, I need to obviously grind this all down level so that it seats back correctly onto the uh, outboard. All right, let's see if I remember how to put this thing back in. These cushions are actually these right here. I thought I had forgotten to take them off. It's been so long, I really didn't know what happened to them. So I'm gonna take these off real quick and then I can start to put it back on. Apart from the dirt, they don't look bad at all, but I bought them anyway. I think the problem is I didn't have enough wiggle room. Like I couldn't turn it in. So I think the right way to do it is you put the seals in here like I have, and then you stick the rail in when you turn it and push at the same time. It all compresses. Now I have a lot more room to work. I finally got them in. And so I can move on to putting the bolts in. So I'm not going to tighten any of these bolts until I've lined them all up. Yeah, so I'm going to start to tighten these down. So I'm gonna clean this real quick, so I'm gonna shove tape in here, or some sort of cloth, so none of the particles get in there. I'm gonna leave that loose for now so I can swivel it. this hose right here that I've been trying to get on. You can't even see it, it's under here. It's this, this is the bottom. This is the hose. So I got the rail in. That's the hose that I was struggling with just because of the angle and it would rub up against the this casing right here. But Got it all in, I got everything screwed back down. And now I'm just gonna hook these back up. I, I labeled them, so it's pretty easy. This is one starting here, and six is all the way on the bottom. Last couple things on this side would be to reconnect the fuel pump. Um, this hose goes to the bottom of the oil tank, and there's one more. Oh, this is the tilt switch uh, wiring, so I just need to get some connectors to put these back together.